became very clear to me very early in my working life that a nine to five was not going to work for me. I was miserable. I was trying to push myself into a convention that I was told I needed to do for stability. And after I got fired six times in my 20s, I knew that I was a different kind of thinker, that I needed to express myself in a different way, and that I had, I could make a real difference if I could just forge my own path. I knew what that difference was gonna be. And I was just incredibly competitive, and my kids call it my superpower. And I think my superpower is I see no obstacles. There's always a way to get to something. And I just don't have the ability to say, maybe say no, or say, I can't do that. I, I see something and I'm like, I'm gonna go get that. And when I saw women who were self-employed, who were forging their own path, I was like, that's me. That's what I've gotta do. And luckily I have a husband, Mark, who is, he holds my kite string, you know? He makes sure that I don't fly off into the wind. And I think as a female entrepreneur, you gotta have a spouse or a partner who is going to have your back. And he's been the amazing nine to five. Like he is a consummate worker. I've never met anybody who is a better employee than my husband, but that's just not me. I move fast, I create fast, I'm a high creator. And I think that a nine to five is good for people who want to punch a ticket. They want to punch a time clock. I come in at 9.01, I leave at 5.59, and then they don't think about work until the next day. And for me, it was about making a difference. Like I think when you get to a certain part, it's about significance. It's about leaving a legacy. And when you're in your 20s, you're just full of fire, right? You're just like, you're gonna set the world on fire, you're gonna change the world. And I started doing, doing graphic development. And then I figured out that everyone with Word thought they were a web developer. And then, so then I'm like, okay, great. And I'll become a graphic artist. And then anyone with Corel Draw at that point or Photoshop thought they were a graphic artist. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. And then my husband showed me in, in 2009, showed me how to start building websites. And this was at the very beginning. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. That's math. I don't do math. I was an English major with a minor in religious studies. So there was no way I was gonna go into a technology field. My husband got me over the whole coding and math thing because I'm like, I can't even balance a checkbook. How am I going to build a website? He's like, it's not, it's not coding, it's tagging. And that's how I started my, my, my career was really learning how, from the very beginning, how to write HTML and how to make that look gorgeous. Because I had a print background, but I was tired of waiting for press checks and Pantone colors and all the stuff you had to do with print. So I left that and went immediately into something that I knew was unique something that everyone wasn't doing, and something that I could really sink my teeth into. And I was selling websites to people who didn't even know what the heck they were. I was selling like secret sauce stuff. And I'll never forget the first five or six clients I ever had, no one was talking about websites. No one even knew what they were. It was the very, very beginning. I think for me is nine to five, I established very quickly that was not for me. I started testing. I tried being a graphic artist. Nope, that's too easy for other people to do. I just tried a bunch of things and I learned quickly that what I didn't want or whatever I was trying to do wasn't unique enough to make a difference. So if you're gonna look at being uh, getting out of a nine to five role, especially as a female, you're gonna get a lot of judgment. You're gonna get a lot of raised eyebrows. You're gonna get a lot of people that's like, well, what about the stability? What about the retirement? What about you know your responsibility to your family? Well, you know, you have to be pretty brave to go out on your own. You've got to be willing to forge that path and to learn as quickly as you can as you go. A friend of mine said, uh, learn how to get to know faster than you get to yes. Getting to know means the quicker I get to get to know, meaning no, I don't want that, no, I don't want that, no, I don't want that, the faster you will get to yes. Yes, I love that. Yes, I love this. Yes, this is my jam. And once I felt that connection with my yes, that was when the business really started to skyrocket. That's when I had 16 employees and a sign on the side of the building. And then one day I woke up, I would built everything I ever wanted and I was ready to let it go. And I sold the business. I literally went and called the first three people that came under Denver SEO. I called all three of them. I said, I have a book of business. I have a whole office and I have skilled employees. 
I sold the business in three months and at that point started touring and speaking and really working on my, my speaking stagecraft and, and building the training organization I now run called Findabilt University. If you're going to go out and you're going to forge your own path, know that you will be judged, know that people will not understand, and know that you've got to learn quickly, get to your no so you can find your yes. And I'm doing the most rewarding work of my life. I'm making a difference in other business owners' lives. And I'm also showing up as, as, as a great mother and wife. And that's all I could ever have asked for from a career. Well, I hope you enjoyed my story of how a nine to five just wasn't my jam and how creating a business that makes me truly happy and fulfilled is a path that any business owner can take. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll keep sharing my stories about how I have learned to run my business and to really work the job of my dreams.